Sumerians, Babylonians, they believed in the concept of Adam, of Eve being part of Adam, being created from one of his ribs, the left one. And therefore they say if you can't, if you count man's ribs, he has a shortage. He does not have full ribs because one of them is taken away from him and Eve was created with that extra or surplus rib that Adam had. It's a myth, of course. But this myth infiltrated Judaism because during the Babylonian captivity, a Sebul Babili, Babylonians attacked Jerusalem and they took captives, took them back with them to Babylonia, which is in Iraq. And during that period, this idea of Eve being part of Adam, being created from one of his ribs, infiltrated their traditions. And from Judaism, it arrived into the Islamic tradition too, through what we call what is being dubbed as Israeliyats, al Israeliyat. There is a huge subject called Israeliyats in the Islamic tradition, means that these set of stories and myths and legends that came into the Islamic tradition from the previous traditions through the converts. Those converts, some of them converted during the time of the Prophet, some of them converted after the death of the Prophet, peace be upon him, from Judaism and Christianity. But then, some people come and say, look at the Quran, read the Quran. The Quran repeats exactly what the Old Testament says, that Eve is created from Adam. Look at the Quran. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ O people, revere your Lord. الَّذِي قَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدَةٍ Who created you from one soul. وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا And from that soul it created its mate, its wife. So they say, see, this is what the book says. But when we come to the school of Ahlul Bayt and be with me here, follow me. When we come to our Imams, the school of Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Prophet, they say the meaning of وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا and from it created not its mate. It means from it created its mate. It here, it here means from the same fabric, from the same substance, from the same species, not from a different species. Doesn't mean from Adam. It here does not mean from Adam. Because the Bible says it means Adam. But this book, the Quran, says no, it's not from Adam. It here is a reference to the species, to the fabric, to the material. God created man and women from the same, exact same material. Not one of them from humans. The other is a jinn or a spirit. He doesn't do that. From the same species. This is the meaning. And therefore, we come to Ahlul Bayt. This is Man La Yahduruhu Al Faqih, an important reference of the hadith of Ahlul Bayt. This is chapter number three, page number 270. As Saduq. Babu Bad in Nikahi wa Asli. Someone comes, Zurara Tubnu Ayun, one of the disciples of the sixth Imam, Imam Al Sadiq. And Nahu Qal. سئل أبو عبد الله أبو عبد الله means الإمام الصادق عليه السلام سئل أبو عبد الله عن خلق حواء وقيل له إن أناسا عندنا يقولون إن الله عز وجل خلق حواء من ضلع آدم الأيسر الأقصى when someone brought up the issue of the creation of Eve and said to him that some people claim that God created Eve from the lower rib of Adam. So what do you say? Look at the answer of the Imam. The, the Imam said, Subhanallah, glory to, to God. He glorified God. He sanctified God. It means, no, this is not right. 
تعالى الله عن ذلك علوا كبيرا No God would never do that يقول من يقول هذا Let them say what they say إن الله تبارك وتعالى لم يكن له من القدرة ما يخلق لآدم زوجة من غير ضلعه Does that mean that God did not have enough power to create Eve independently? He had to create Eve from Adam's rib? This is not right. This is Imam al-Sadiq. And then Imam says, God created أنه عز وجل خلق من طينتها زوجها وبث منهما رجال كثيرا ونساء. God created Eve from the same fabric, طينة, same material where he created Adam from. They are created from the same material, not from each other, from the same material. It's a big difference, my friends, if you examine it. Okay? And then, let me conclude here. Give me two more minutes. Again, the hadiths that we find in Bukhari, in Muslim, and also some Shi'i traditions, that Eve was created from ظل in a'waj, from a crooked, a bent, bending, curved rib, being bent, not straight. المرأة خلقت من ظل in a'waj, وإنك, if you try, أقمتها to straighten her, meaning to discipline her, to teach her, كسرتها, you'll, 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 you will break her. وَإِنْ تَرَكْتَهُ لَمْ يَزَلْ أَعْوَجْ But if you leave her, she will be always crooked. Of course, we don't accept this. This will exacerbate the idea of women being subordinate to men. This will further marginalize them, alienate them. This will make them secondary, secondary citizens. As, you, as we can see, why women in Saudi Arabia are treated as secondary citizens? Why should Hillary Clinton, seven years, five years ago, she travels all the way from Washington to Riyadh to tell, to preach, to lecture to Saudi women and Saudi girls to tell them you have to ask for your rights? Why this happens? Why they don't listen to their book, to the Quran? The Quran said this 1400 years ago that men and women are equal. Women are not secondary. They are not second class citizens. They are not subordinate to men. They are not. But then let me conclude with one more book, my friends, and this is Tafsir Al Mizan fi Tafsir al Quran. This is Allama Muhammad Hussein al Tabatabai, who died about 40 years ago. When he comes to this verse, وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا From it created its mate. He means it here does not mean Adam. It means the same fabric. Because he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ Because he has an evidence. إِنَّهَا بَيَانْ لِكَوْنِ زَوْجِهَا مِنْ نَوْعِهَا It means the husband and the wife are from the same material, same fabric. بِالتَّمَاثُلِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا God says we created from your own selves. Own selves means the same fabric, same species, same material, not different. إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ زَوْجَةَ آدَمْ مِنْ ظُلْعٍ مِنْ أَضْلَاعِهَا مِمَّا لَا دَلِيلَ عَلَيْهِ فِي الْآيَةِ He says there is no evidence that this verse in Surah An-Nisa, verse number one in chapter four, advocates that Eve was created from Adam or from his rib. He says there is no evidence whatsoever in that. This is the view of Ahlul Bayt.